would like to know how to reuse your cardboard boxes that come from Amazon. Here is a video all about reusing cardboard. I am going to move on to tinting some acrylic paint to seal these little pieces of cardboard that I cut out of an Amazon box. And I'm gonna use them as little gesture studies, little sketches, because I don't really care. I'm not gonna to be too precious about them because they're on cardboard. Uh, but I cut them out into little shapes that I can use kind of as studies and just be sort of free and not worry about being too precious about them. I've got tons of them because I've got lots of boxes. So if you need an idea um, for how to reuse those um, packages, even cereal boxes, I started cutting up um, because they have that nice slick surface. I just paint the acrylic on and um, it's a great substrate rather than paper. It's nice and stiff. Um, we'll see how these work. I'm just not really going to worry too much about it. Um, but they'll, maybe they'll become, become little pieces of artwork. So there you have it. So I've got this pile of little pieces of cardboard that I cut out. This one's a Costco <laughs> box. And I'm just going to tint some gesso or some uh, acrylic paint, some white and some pink, and maybe um, do some different colored backgrounds just for the heck of it. Um, and that way I can make them little studies and I don't have to be too precious about them. Just gonna do a whole bunch of them and see where that takes me. First to see how this color looks as a ground because I would never really use it to begin with but I kind of like I kind of like it maybe as a background for something something else I'm just going to use this big brush it's nice and floppy when you work at home you find the things that you have laying around and use that I don't usually work this small so it's gonna be interesting to see how these turn out I have my little candle burning to set the mood and get me in the inspiration spirit Cardboard does tend to soak up the acrylic, so if you're using cheaper acrylics like student grade economy um, or the cheaper artist loft, um, you want to probably use more than if you were using just like the heavy body acrylic. This is Liquitex heavy body acrylic, which has a lot more kind of pigment and body, so it's going to cover more. Uh, more ground. I like mixing on my palette because then I can mix it really well and it gets all blended. Some people like to mix uh, on their actual piece, which is fine too. It just might not get as flat. You might have more variation and striations. This is what I would call a limited color palette. I'm really using three colors. See how I went with the 
bend. If I try to go against it, the brush isn't going to go into it. So I really want to go into the bend uh, if I want to get that covered. Okay, because I have a little bit of this cool pink left, I'm going to use it on here. Make some textures. 